Settlement of the Hawaiian Homelands waitlist case, which involved thousands of beneficiaries and hundreds of millions of dollars, has been stalled by a single complaint. Daryl Huff explains how the Supreme Court may have to save the massive agreement. $285 million was to be released to more than 2,000 homelands beneficiaries and surviving descendants on the 1st of October. But all that is now up in the air because one person who may not even have been eligible for payment filed a complaint. In his letter to the judge overseeing the settlement, Ricky Rivera specifically said he was appealing his rejection for payment and not trying to overturn the settlement. That $328 million agreement was decades in the making the state agreeing to pay Native Hawaiians who were stuck on the wait list for their cost to rent while waiting for a homestead. The checks were supposed to be in the mail by now. They were just about to get their you know, long, long, long awaited settlement awards when all of a sudden, uh, you know, finding out there's, a, and there's some appeal going on that's now going to delay them for an indefinite amount of time um, is beyond frustrating for, for them, many of whom are elderly and dying. In this order, the judge in the case, Lisa Cataldo, seemed to blame the attorney general for the delay, saying the AG could have agreed that Rivera was not calling for an appeal. The state's position is intractable despite all of the facts, she wrote. She also sympathized with the waitlisters still waiting. Their long-awaited receipt of their share of the settlement proceeds is again out of their hands and for now out of their reach. It is a travesty. Senator Miley Shimabukuro questioned the attorney general. And her understanding is that uh, to start to release funds prior to this one appeal being settled would be, would be a violation of the settlement agreement. But late this morning, the Supreme Court offered a shortcut, agreeing to take the Rivera appeal on an emergency basis. So that will definitely speed things up because it'll go straight to Supreme Court. Once they issue their decision, then there's no further appeal. Um, and so that's a good thing. Um, that'll speed things up. In its order, the Supreme Court is giving the parties only five days to write out their arguments, which implies the court wants a rapid resolution. Although after 25 years in court, the waitlisters probably are not holding their breath. Senator Shimabukuro is urging anyone waiting for homesteads to apply for rental assistance from the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.